In today's episode of Dad's Den, we're going to be interviewing the founder, the director, and sometimes even an actor, Rajesh from Nakalits. So let's get started. Reviews, reaction, satisfaction. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as you can see right next to me, I have the founder, the director. Just like I said in the intro, this is Rajesh. Rajesh, how are you today, sir? I'm doing great. How about you, brother? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. I'm honored that you have come on to the Dadston Show because in the recent months, I've become a big fan of Nakalits. And I kind of, well, look, I've been doing reaction videos for like, um, about a year, a little over a year, and everybody kept telling me, Nakalits, 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 you gotta watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. And finally I watched the first one and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay. Why did I wait so long to watch this? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic, so I'm honored that you're even here. Um, for everybody who, I'm assuming most of you guys that are watching know who Nakalits are, because they currently have 2.83 million subscribers, they're almost to 3 million. Congratulations, Rajesh, on that. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for, you know, uh, reacting yeah. to our videos. We, as a team, enjoyed watching your reaction. You know, we can, we are happy that we are able to resonate our content, you know, uh, more yeah. than our language. You know, you can understand. Uh, the first video that you reacted, 90s kids games, yes. you know, you said you play the same games too. I was like, we were like thrilled. Oh, <laughs> then, you know, uh, that was very uh, nice for us too. <clears throat> yeah well you know what's funny is it's probably be because your your culture is a lot older than our culture here in the united states we're a very very young country so those games you probably like has been playing for thousands and thousands of years that go along obviously some of them are more new but like there's certain games that probably just got passed down to generation to generation and spread around the whole world you know and it's just like a language and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's oh. kind of cool, yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, all from so. the same <laughs> same species, Homo sapiens, right? <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. absolutely right. So, um, for everybody who doesn't know Nakalits, okay, YouTube channel, um, and I did a little bit of research, and you guys kind of started out with um, like political satire, song yeah. spoofs, yeah, kind of song spoofs, and things like that, right? Is because I was looking at We did very, political very... satires and uh, celebrity okay. spoofs and kind of a thing. Mostly we started as a political satire channel. Okay. And then um, over the years, you guys have kind of developed into pretty much like this powerhouse of like, you guys can pretty much do anything now. I mean, I, I'm talk, thinking about the uh, Illuminati series. That was like watching a TV series. I mean, it was <laughs> so good. Um, thank you, thank you. So, um, let's just, before we get into Nakalits, I want to ask you a couple questions, personal questions. So, how did this start uh, for you? Like, were you always into film, being a film creator and things like that? Or how did this start for you? I mean, like, for me, I always wanted to be a filmmaker. From my uh, childhood, I always wanted to be a filmmaker. Uh, this thing, especially, you know, the... Nakalate's face got it. It, it uh, uh, got into action because I and uh, co-founder I met when I met my co-founder Prasanna, and we had the same wavelength about you know how to do movies, how to do look at entertainment, how to do uh, the the socio-political views of us have matched. So, and we were like working um, on some other things and uh, some actors you know who were uh, the first, uh, you know, the first actors of Nakalites, before Nakalites were even Nakalites, and we formed and okay. did a short film called Anda Parambarai, and that was okay. also a social satire short film, and uh, through that, uh, then we extended as a team, you know, uh, uh, we did that and we had a break for another one and a half years, you know, we did nothing, we were just writing stuff and doing stuff, and then uh, we started Nakalites on... Uh, on November 2016, I mean, like, as a, as a name called Chuma Nachiki, we started it as Chuma Nachiki. And uh, okay. it was a, a reflection of, you know, demonetization that happened here in India. 
and mm-hmm. it it was our call on demonetization and we did a video and that became viral and at at that time we didn't have a broad vision of turning uh, into a full time youtuber and uh, that kind of stuff and we just wanted to get into film so we were just reading stuff we were reading and practicing stuff you know for me the m- most Im- important book that was uh, pu- pushing me to practicing movies was you know rebel without a crew there is a book called rebel without a crew robert rodriguez you, you might you must have okay. known my guess yeah uh, and uh, that was so that book was so inspiring for me you know try making movies regularly you know because you have camera you have actors you just have to try making movies so we did yeah. that and uh, uh, and then this happened after another 6 months of you know what is a hippie kind of making videos we turn mm-hmm. and we we just thought you know it, it's not going to work uh, working like a hippie so we organized as a team after that and we are working till now okay um so i want to look at something here which crazy is for you guys to decide that i want to make films i want to be a filmmaker and then the cool thing about youtube is it allows people like you and me um to show our creative side like so i have i have a other channel it's a my family channel and i love creating videos and vlogs and just editing and making really i just i love doing it um but youtube allows us to do that which is really cool so yeah yeah the the it the gap that youtube filled was you know uh to make films you need camera you need equipment you need uh things and another thing you need a platform distribution platform yes. youtube gave us that platform i guess without youtube uh, we would not have been we would not have happened the college would not have happened not any other thing um, yeah, it, it, it we were at the right place at the right time i think you know yeah well, we were, not only that mm. not only that but you guys you saw an opportunity Yeah. <laughs> and you went and you went for it, which is cool. That's inspiring to Thank a lot you. of people. Thank you. You know, because I know a lot of people watch uh Anakleeds and they are inspired by what you guys do and they feel like, wow, these guys if they can do it, I can do it too. And it's true. You know, you can people can go out, you can do it, you know. Exactly. Um, if we can do it, think, anybody can do it. That's true. That's the truth. Hmm. I mean, it it really is. Now, did you ever think cuz I'm looking at your very the um most popular videos on your channel here mm. um and your number one video okay and this is pretty amazing you guys it has 14 million views oh. and that's just a part of the web series um uh, back to school yeah, that's yeah. just one part yeah one <laughs> video 14 million views did you ever think you were going to have videos that have that many views uh, we were not really keen on the views at first actually uh when we are doing political satires and we know we have a very small audience who will be interested in political things and stuff but when we wanted right. to uh get into the commercial stuff you know we wanted to uh, make sure you know we give quality content and we believe the quality content will drive towards views but uh, yes. back to school was our first web series kind of a thing we wanted to do we were just doing you know small small sketch videos before that that whole trend was like that in tamil nadu at that time yes. so we wanted to do uh, a series a series you know with a minimal uh, in a minimalistic way we try we wanted to try it uh, and we tried it on the uh, reception that audience gave us was really overwhelming we didn't expect we expected it to be a success yeah i mean like i thought it would be a success but the response was overwhelming actually still today you know people are watching it regularly and they're asking for the season 2 of back to school and all the stuff that's that's really that was really unexpected i would say that's it's great because it was probably kind of like all right we're going to do this we're going to put a lot of effort into making a whole web series because making one video you you know it has your work you got to put you know one video together you the the comedy sketch all these different things you got to put together but when you're going to do a full series that's a whole another thing yeah and yeah. you really have uh, to just be like and uh, oh. we have always you know as a team and knuckleheads i'm telling you uh 
it's easy for us to do a story than to do a sketch video uh, i mean like people uh, in nakala is there more uh, every team operates in its own way some people are in tamil nadu they're very good at doing sketches and yes. we can be good at doing sketches but series you know uh, we'll be more competitive uh, we thought you know we are because we were more into stories you know that's why we wanted to do yeah. this thing so we wanted to do mo- movies and stuff because we loved stories as people you and know you from guys, childhood you guys are great storytellers i think that's one thing that separates nakalites from some of the other channels out there is your guys ability to storytell to create characters because i for illuminati's because i've been watching that one um you connect with the characters and that's like when you watch a good movie or you watch a good TV series or you can watch a good web series it's about the storytelling and being able to have the characters you fall in love with characters as the series continues on you know and you guys are great storytellers i mean thank you really, thank really you really thank good. you so much brother <laughs> yeah i mean think about this i'm here in california united states of america and i watched this and even though i've never lived in a hostel i've never experienced that i watched that series and i feel like i i just connect with each of the characters and you as it goes along and it's just it's really well done you guys are doing a great job with that um thank you, you thank you so much thank you so much for your appreciation you you're welcome so a uh, quick question for you did you ever go to school for uh movies or acting or directing or anything like that did you ever go to school for that uh, stuff or just uh, there is a course called Vis- Vis- viscom visual communication here in india in tamil nadu i did a course uh, in that you know bsc we okay. called it the bachelor's degree in visual okay. communication i did it and that's it oh. uh, did i mean like that was the starting point but most of the thing that we learned you know because was because you know uh we had the accessible accessibility to books and you, you know youtube was a big thing you know we yes. could hear all the we could watch so many movies because of this uh, digital revolution especially after 2010 12 in india it was a, a big uh, opportunity for aspiring filmmakers i would say before that you It's know there was some channels called world movies kind of a thing premiering here that was our you know uh that was the starting point i would say for me and all you know to okay. to get exposed to movies other than you know tamil or other regional languages like tamil malayalam telugu we rarely watch other movies than that when i was you know uh, till when i was 12 13 like that until that after that i had that channel in and and when when internet become popular in india and uh, it, it became cheap uh, it became very easy for Uh, as to learn about stuff i would say yeah filmmaking. youtube is amazing you can find and it for people watching if you want to make films you want to make videos on youtube there's so many different how to videos they teach yeah. you how yeah. to edit they teach you how to film they teach exactly. you about lighting they teach you there's so many great exactly. resources there. exactly yeah just do your research do your homework and you, that's how i learned i learned all by myself <laughs> just watching exactly. videos and things exactly. like that exactly yeah, exactly so that's what i was saying um, so um hmm. go ahead no 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 and i just uh, uh, trying to complete what you were saying you know it was not possible before 15 years or something in here it is now possible it is up to us to make it learn that's it, right I would say. before i'm going to get back to some some more questions about nakalites um in a minute here because i want the audience to know um what's next because i did see a little teaser at the end of the last episode So we'll talk about that um in a minute but um I want to do something really fun right now. I want to do what's called like a rapid fire just questions and then you answer like really quickly what um what comes to mind when I say these questions, all right? This is this Ready? is more for fun now. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Mm-hmm. So um I'm going to start with easy and then we'll get a little bit harder, okay? So mm-hmm. here we go. All right. What is your favorite food to eat? Uh mutton biryani. Ooh, okay. I just had a chicken biryani for lunch 2 <laughs> days ago. So, um, very very good. Okay. Uh, Favorite movie? Uh Seven Samurai. Ooh, okay. Okay. Favorite actor? Uh, favorite actor? 
Uh, yes. It's very hard to pick. Uh, I love Toshiro Mifun. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, favorite actress. Uh, Ingrid Bergman. Really? Yeah, okay. I love her. I love her in okay. Casablanca and Notorious. Wow, so. that's awesome. Very yeah. cool. I did not expect that answer. That's really cool. And and uh, here, you know, in Tamil, I love uh, I love uh, Shoba. Banu Shoba. Priya. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, favorite director. As uh, a that, director. <laughs> you can say your favorite director. Here we go. There are uh, there are three four directors, but I would uh, uh, because maybe he was a nation Akira Kurosawa. I mean, he has been very influential director okay. uh, in me. I like I love Hitchcock. I love Orson Welles. I love uh, Sergio Leone. These these are my you know and Chaplin. They are my very uh, very close directors in uh, in the world okay. arena. In Tamil Nadu, in contemporary directors, I love uh, Vetri Maran, Ranjit, and Mahendran, uh, senior director here, and okay. Balu Mahendra, I love all of them. Okay. Wow, you, I, you are like a person who studies film then. I, I'm just listening to some of these answers. I'm like, this guy studies film. You said Hitchcock. <laughs> I'm like, this is cool. I did not expect that. That is awesome. I yeah. love that. <laughs> thank you. Thank Man, you. You're, so you're, I'm going to stop the quick questions really fast. Mm -hmm. So you really have studied like film and and this is something you love, huh? This is I could just tell from your answers. Yeah, I love I love movies. I mean like that's the only thing I love more than anything any anything else I guess. Wow, that's 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 awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Back to the quick questions. Yeah, sure. All right. sure, sure. Hmm. Favorite song right now? Like your favorite song to listen to right now? Uh, Mana ki hum yaar nahi. I don't it it I is a song one. from uh, a Hindi song. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. It um, means we are not uh, friends, but I know we are not lovers too. It's a nice song. Meri pyari okay. bindu. It is a movie I recently uh, happened to watch and was very. The tune was very captivating. Ah. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, other than the opening songs and BGMs, I call them BGMs, even though they're not really BGMs, like from the Illuminati series and all your different stuff. What is your favorite BGM from, uh, let's just say, only Hollywood? Hollywood favorite BGM music? Oh, uh, uh, there is a music director called Eli Raja. I love his work. Especially yep. I love uh, uh, in movie called Udayam. It is a, uh, there is a climax sequence and he would have done a pathos for you know uh, okay. an action sequence I loved it actually I mean, so that, was, Raja. that was awesome music I one could say I mean, any time yeah. any day so Eli Raja he's he's like a legend I love right? the, I mean he's the most favorite music director yeah he's yeah. incredible He his music is so so good so, what yeah. was this <laughs> was it uh, there was a movie that just came out was it um, Psycho it was kind of Psycho, mm. oh my gosh! The music on that, like just alone, that like gave guy, me chills. He is he is really a genius. I mean, like Man. he introduced us to many uh, classic composers from Western countries. I would say he wow, introduced music. music to all the Tamil people here. Yeah, you know, the variety of incredible. music. He's he's himself uh, an ocean. <laughs> yeah, he's. It, just unbelievable. Great unbelievable. Fun, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now, this is a question that I ask all of my guests. Okay. 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 You can answer it or you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. okay? Do you like reaction videos? Like stuff that I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice, right? I mean, you can Especially... say no if you, if you don't like it. I mean, it's okay. No, no. I really like it because, you know... Uh... Uh, after you have put a video, you know, I, I saw the whole of my video with your reaction. It, it, I have so much to learn from, uh, you know, how to communicate to an audience that don't know the language. You know, from mm. your reaction, I could understand which point you were laughing, which point you were not laughing, which point I thought you would laugh and you didn't, which point I didn't uh, think you would laugh and gotcha. you didn't laugh, which point I thought you would laugh and you laughed. I mean, like, you could learn so many things. Stuffs from that, I guess, you know. At least if yeah. you look at my own work, I don't know. 
uh, others work i learn something from that because uh, how audience react to other uh, videos of which i make uh, i can uh, it's always nice to see reaction you know especially yeah. when you're doing a comedy because you can't hide you can fake a laughter yeah if they laugh yeah, it's genuine true. and then if, it, if they're not laughing then you have some problem you have to work that's on that's true that's a good point i didn't think about it that way but that's a good way to look at it you you learn from you know especially like for me so there's certain things because i'm learning more and more about the tamil language the tamil people the you know so there's certain things that i'm starting to understand more that will be funny to me if i would have done alumbanadis a year ago when i first started there were certain things i probably wouldn't laugh at cuz i wouldn't understand more but now that i'm learning more and yeah they're more funny to me because i get it now you know yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's you funny. see you that, know there you is know? A, there is a, you know there is person i used to say an incident you know uh you know chaplin is uh, nobody know who's when you come into a place called chennai in tamil nadu they they don't know the language of english or anything you know some some layman kind of people but they when they watch a movie of chaplin they they celebrate him how are they able to celebrate him because he was able to connect uh, you know beyond language yeah. that's what movie makers do that was great great movie makers do i am just a learning kid so uh, i would i could learn something from reactions you know if if yeah. he can make such an impact in our place you know we should try to do the same yeah that's a great point i love that that's that's so true now there's some things though in comedy um that i think you guys are doing so well because even because the sometimes the talking is really fast even though the subtitles i want to watch the people because of the reactions the facial reactions those are what's funny right so sometimes i would watch the subtitles sometimes i would skip the, i would just i would just trying to watch and it, what you guys are able to portray um for most of the part it is universal though. i'm able to watch these things and th- thank and you thank it, you so much i mean we're yes, so glad i mean that's I mean, a great really compliment is, i would say hmm. yeah i mean it really is funny there's certain things that there were certain parts in there i actually showed my wife and i'm like dude you got to see this this is so funny you know so we watch it we laugh together and stuff oh, and just that's really yes. cool that's really new and cool okay we're just so i'm going to switch and i'm going to ask you uh two more questions here and then we'll wrap up this um this interview and um and for everybody who's watching this on youtube Um I just want to make sure you guys know click down in the description there's going to be a link uh to Nakalites the channel I want you guys to go subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you haven't subscribed yet and you don't go and subscribe then I'm going to be mad at you so go subscribe um subscribe to the channel show them some love from Dad's Den and then also if you're listening on the podcast this is going to be on the podcast as well don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a five star rating I would really appreciate that as well Um so Rajesh question for you what is your favorite project so far that you've worked on I'm, I'm sure you love them all okay but there's got to be one that's just like oh my gosh I just I love working on that project that was that was just so much fun is there any one that stands out uh, I mean like uh, uh everything is personal for me it's always the next project for me i'm i'm working on another series you know uh, the next season of back to school that is so because we did school amuchi and alumna is right we have okay. to do and do it minimalistically like back to school one and we have to uh, meet the expectations it is more thrilling to me i would say back to school two any project that i'm doing the next is going to be the most uh, what to say interesting project for me Okay so I see I like that. That's a great answer though. That's a great answer because you're always looking forward to the future and what's next. I love that. I love that. Okay. So I did the re- I did a reaction to the very last episode of Illuminati's Hostel Days. So at the end of this video um hold on here. Let me pull it up. I'm, lo- I'm pulling it up on my computer right now. At the very end, you guys left this teaser that says next season hope oh, let me go back one second here next season and it next says jingalala next Jing- season yes <laughs> tell me about that what is that 
going to be yeah yeah we are we are working on the script of illuminati 2 okay. it's going to be you know uh, we are planning it to release every year okay like uh, a sitcom okay. series we started with nine episodes and probably you know if we are able to make uh, scripts that are you know very good uh, compact scripts maybe 10 maybe about 10 to 15 or any episodes uh, till which we can make compact scripts you know we are we are planning to do okay the next series mostly with more number of episodes maybe oh that would be nice so what is jinga lala mean i don't know what that means it is a sanskrit word you know it was it is i mean our writer krishnakant actually did that word it means uh, what to say um enthusiastic it it means like that you know okay. enthusiasm kind of a thing okay crazy okay. enthusiasm yeah. <laughs> all right so what is so that will be next year the next season the next yeah 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 okay uh, illuminati yeah okay. mostly illuminati. you know that this pandemic is going over and we'll we'll do it next year mostly <laughs> okay so is the next series coming out from you guys is it going to be back to school too is that yeah that's what we have announced earlier Oh, you already announced it. We are ready it. with this. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like we wanted to do a back to school too. We awesome. are re- the scripts are even ready. That is, uh, I mean, like we are almost ready with the scripts. You know, for the shooting, yeah. you know, here there are lockdowns and restrictions for shoot. Yeah. Once the restrictions are lifted, we are most probably going to go and uh, shoot school. I can't. I, I really don't know the time because it's not in my hands. You know, the government has to decide here. Yeah. So most probably, you know, very soon I, I I'm anticipating for it. All right, so if you guys are fans of Knock Lights and the Back to School series, you guys know it's coming soon. You just you just got to be patient though. You got to be patient. So now I personally I have not seen any of the Back to School series. Everybody keeps yelling at me on my channel, getting mad at me because I haven't watched it yet. And they're like, "Ken, you have to watch it. It's the best. It's so so good." So I'm a, I think I'm going to start from episode 1 and then I'm just going to go through the entire series and just watch it. Um maybe I'll do Maybe I'll do a reaction series to the whole thing or something. I don't know. I if if that's okay with you. That would be you. great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll do a whole reaction series to the the entire series like one a week, you know, and I'll just kind of go through it until I get through the whole thing and we'll have fun with it. Um <laughs> but that would yeah. be that would be fun. Um what last question and this is hmm. this is the hard question. Hmm. So what do you what do you want to see um from uh Nakalites and for the future your future as far as a, a director and a filmmaker w- what are your goals like for the future for this as nakalites uh we we are now having uh two other channels you know urban nakalites nakalites of zone exclusively for women political satire now we are having nakalites and we are going to launch an app called nakalites so wow. uh, in this arena we think uh we want to be a media mostly an entertainment media okay uh which give, which keeps entertaining people and you know we want to uh, entertain people without you know any we have a stand in nakalites you know we don't uh, do jokes on color race religion kind of uh, you know like um, there are some cliches right gender yeah biased jokes and you know without any uh double meaning jokes without that we are trying to make a good content which is yeah. mostly watchable by uh, all of them that's what that is what our thing is and um, we wanted to grow as a team you know now we are like uh, 70 people the now we want to expand it you know and we'll we'll be doing cinema you know mostly tamil cinema if yeah. as a director i'll be doing movies in future i want to be wow as uh, doing movies in future and yeah we want to develop our app nakalites prime it's it's named and we are, it's almost ready okay and it it's nice you know to have our own ott platform uh yeah. so we have decided on that that's a future that i can see from now you know that is for 5 10 years that's our goal wow that's 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 going to be fantastic that's wow that's good for you guys that is fantastic now as you start making your movies if you ever need you know you never need like a, a, a an american or a white character in your movie you know you got one right here just you know like a big, yeah i'll you know. just bring you you know i got your number <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm totally kidding um 
But wow, uh, the future looks bright for you guys. And Rajesh, I, like, I, again, I'm really, really, really honored to have you here um, as I continue this interview series, this podcast. And I'm the people I'm already interviewing, I, I know this is going to be great because I, I hope that everybody who's watching or listening to this can understand that um, it doesn't matter where you live, where you're from, um, around this world, you can connect with you can connect with anybody, um, and through video, and through movies, and through songs, and through languages, um, the ability to reach others and touch other people in a positive way, which I love that you're doing because I'm all about positivity here. Um, I think is important in this world and I'm just, I'm honored that you came on and just thank you. I don't even know. I don't even have the words. I don't even have the words. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me and it's, it was a pleasure talking to you and it's, it's very new to me, you know, <laughs> yeah. to talking, to talk to someone abroad and know how they feel about our channel. There's a lot to learn for us too from you. Thank yeah. you, you know, thanks. Keep reacting. Your reactions are cool. React Thank to you. every, you know, every other YouTuber if possible. And react to us also if <laughs> you find time and you, the content you like. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. And again, everybody, please go over to Nakalites the channel um, and subscribe. Let them know that Dad's Den sent you. Just show them some love. Just give them all the love we can from Dad's Den family. And then what are the other two channels that you guys have? Um, I want to make sure that everybody goes there and supports those as well. well we have a channel called Urban Nakalites and another channel called Nakalites F-Zone. Okay. Uh, Urban Nakalites is for purely political satire videos. Okay. And Nakalites F-Zone is for, you know, it, it, uh, mostly women uh, uh, driven contents and mostly presented by women. Okay. It's, it, it's the female, female zone, that's F-Zone. Okay. female so oh cool I'll, do, I'll have to watch some of those too um I, actually I think I've got some suggestions for my fans from that they're like keep sending me the links and I just keep forgetting so um okay so we'll leave a link to all of those down in the description you guys if you're listening on you or if you're watching on YouTube go click on all those subscribe to all three channels that would be amazing and again uh, Rajas thank you so much for being here and everybody thank you hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Dad's End podcast show and interview series here. So thank you for watching, Rajesh. Have a wonderful 